Welcome back everyone to another video and in this one we'll be taking a look at operating systems that use Node.js or JavaScript in some way or the other as a major part of their OS. Now all of these or most of these are based on Linux. Let's get started. So the first one we'll be taking a look at is called Node OS. Again it uses Node OS not for the UI but for the whole user space. Now uh, all the command line and everything that runs on this operating system is on Node.js and uh, it uses NPM as the primary package manager so you can add all your Node.js uh, software and run them natively. So it doesn't use GNU or anything so this is a Linux Node OS. So of course based on the Linux kernel let's go ahead and take a look. So this is open source and you can go ahead and build one for yourself. Uh, I have it ready and built as you can see on the terminal and all I have to do is npm and start. And wait for it and it automatically opens up a QEMU uh, emulation screen. It does take a while to load since um, pretty much everything is running on a single core the QEMU isn't com configured to run on multiple cores or even have uh, as little as 256 megabytes of memory so it is going to take a bit to load I'll either fast forward it or just skip it Alright, so we have all booted up and we are at the user login screen. Now let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what's in there. So node OS should be the username and the same for the password. And again, we wait for a few more seconds. Alright, that is it. Now the shell is not sh or bash or anything there in between. It's actually node shell. So the install commands are like a tiny list of them. So uh, cat, cp and all of them. So let's go ahead and try a few of them out. So for some reason, ls actually doesn't work and that is actually good because I can show you one thing and that is that errors are in JS like a JavaScript would throw out errors instead of being a bash error or something like that and it then goes ahead and logs me out so there we are back again and um, so let's go ahead try out some more commands um, so let's go env so we have all our environment variables again this is a unix esque command and um, yeah not a whole lot of variables and I don't think you'd need more of them but this is what it is wget is available if you want to download something and then we have ifconfig now ifconfig has an interesting output rather than you know copying kind of what the unix one does it actually outputs in a different kind of a syntax again more related to uh, node.js now next we have a internally uh, internal benchmarking uh, thingy and it's called a uh, performance so performance a uh, very appropriate name and then it actually runs a bunch of uh, JavaScript based benchmarks Alright, so this is done and again I have nothing to compare it against so I don't know what the benchmarks are good or bad but uh, this is about it for Node OS. Now of course there is a lot to show on an OS like this where the whole user space has been replaced by JavaScript or Node.js uh, in fact and what I really wanted to uh, you know, do was just give you guys a quick look. I don't want to make this a long tutorial or of any kind but so we'll take a look uh, at this maybe or uh, some other time but for, till then uh, this is about it. Go ahead and uh, click on to the part 2 of this video which would be which would be on a cloud based operating system that uses JS. So this was about it thank you so much for watching make sure you click on the next one and put a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.